So we used the uh, read at cell module in pandas and read in the labor force data. So I'll just run it again. And here it is. Now the next thing we need to do is fix up these uh, variable descriptions and uh, turn them into valid variable names that can be used in SAS, R and Python. We have run the pandas uh, read at cell module and have loaded up the labor force spreadsheet into a pandas uh, data frame. So when I open that up we can see that uh, we have the data item descriptions but it's a bit of a mess and then at this point here is where our data starts. I'll just expand it out so you can see it better. So uh, the next step in this process is to turn the um, the rows that start with the index value 0 up to index value 9 into a valid variable name. So I guess what, how could we do this? Well uh, we know that um, valid variable names cannot have any special characters like angle brackets or question marks or dollar signs. So basically it's got to be either a, a letter it could be uppercase, lowercase, or a number, but it can't start with a number. So uh, you could start with an underscore, an underscore is valid as well. And these are the only characters that we should allow to form our valid variable name. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, have a list of the valid characters that you can have in a valid variable name and I'm going to put that in a set so I can check to see if the character is in the valid set. So uh, I've got some code snippets here so I'll just copy that and paste it into Python. So what we have here is uh, I've got this variable name uh, allowable characters is equal to the set of this list which has got all the uppercase letters, all the lowercase letters, all the n numbers and underscore which is a valid uh, character for uh, valid variable names. And you notice that I've got this space here as well. This, the reason I have that space if we go back to the spreadsheet, we've got like employed here and then space total. So we want to keep that space so that we can make an intelligible variable name. Now I'm going to define a Python function to remove the invalid characters in, in creating that valid variable name. So I'll just grab some pre-written code for that. and we'll do a return so that we can do some printing to see what it looks like. So uh, uh, we've defined this function remove invalid characters here. We feed in the, uh, the data set that we have read into a data frame, so that would be labor force would go in here. We define the start row, which is the start row of the actual data. So we go back to the spreadsheet. That started in row 11. So uh, then we have define which of those rows that we're going to read in to create our valid variable name. So here, uh, so if we go to the uh, data frame. Uh, 
So we're going to read row zero. We've just got the um, employed total persons in it. So I'll just make that bigger. And then uh, we're going to use row one, which gives us the units. Uh, that's important because otherwise um, you, uh, you have uh, the wrong number if you don't know if it's in millions or thousands. And given this is a time series, whether it's a trend or seasonally adjusted or original series is going to be really important as well. Also knowing the data type um, is not so crucial, but knowing that it's a stock or flavorable is helpful. The rest of the data re, um, is the same for all the data items, so we, we don't really need to read that into a, a, a verbal name. Just notice here that's that's missing. So it will actually read that in when we run this. Uh, that's because we go back to the spreadsheet. This here, this cell here, the first cell is missing. So A1 is missing. It's a blank. So how are we going to do this? Okay, going back to Spider. We're going to define a variable called label. And we're using this apply, uh, so a data set dot apply, which is uh, from pandas. And what we're going to apply, we're going to add together the uh, those uh, variable uh, rows that we want to read. And we do this by this ix, which is the index. So if we look at that, um, that uh, data frame, and get it here it is uh, see this is, uh, it's got an index so index 0 1 2 3 4 and so on and it's got so that's the row index and we've got a column indexes as well so what we're going to do is be accessing the row indexes uh, so we'll read this row index then row index 1 row index 2 and then row index 3 and it will add them together, concatenate those uh, uh, stringers together to form this label. Now the next step we want to uh, do is uh, convert the label to a list. So label, this is easy as doing label underscore list is what I'm going to call it equals list label so let's have a look at what that's going to look like so in Python 3 you use uh, brackets be, uh, because it's treated as uh, the print uh, function uh, the print is treated as a function in, in Python 3 So we're going to print uh, label list. So, um, so we need to call the function. So we need to. Uh, I'll grab that from my pre-written code. So I'll just do that now. And comment that out. Now we're ready to run that. So we'll run. And here's the output here. So, so it read uh, NAN unit series, then data type, which is the um, So D, so it did this first, so it did, this is empty, so it returned NAN, so it's because it's missing. Then unit series type data type. So we go back here, and then the next um, um, element in the list is employed total semicolon persons. And it's in units of thousands, it's, tr it's trend and a stock. So we've got our list, and... Uh, 
and then we can use that to remove all the invalid characters that we don't want for for our valid variable name.